Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Alicia and on this channel we do all of the budgeting things. Um, we do cash stuffing, we do sinking funds, we do savings challenges, um, debt confessions, we do the penny savings challenge. So just all of the budgeting things. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely keep watching. So today I wanted to get on here and I got some happy mail last week and um, I got a couple of like new binders. So I wanted to just kind of go through and go through my binders and kind of reorganize some stuff. I did want to change up some envelopes um, in my sinking funds and stuff like that. So um, I thought I would just go ahead and film that way you guys can see um, what I decided to change. So let me kind of move a couple of these out of the way. Um, so these are the two new binders that I got. Um, so I'm thinking I may use this green one for um, for my sinking funds. So I'm gonna trade out some of the stuff I have in here and this will be my new sinking funds binder. And then I may use this one for my, um, for my savings challenges. So, so let me pull out these envelopes. I definitely need to add in some new envelopes too, um, but I'll, I'll probably do that at a later time. All right, so here we go. Let's see here. There we go. Kind of stuck there, so. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go through our sinking funds. This is where my sinking funds are right now. Actually, let me move these. I feel like there's just a lot in a little bit of space. So, okay, I think you guys can see that, okay. All right, so currently our sinking funds, I don't have a ton. Um, so first up is medical. This one is really close to 500. I think it's like 430 in there. So this one should be finished up um, before too long. So um, I guess I could go through and count them as I reorganize, that way you guys know what's what. So let's do that. So medical has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So 430, and I'm trying to get it up to 500. So I think I'll be able to do that. We did have dental appointments coming up, and so I was thinking we may end up having to pay for some of that. But um, my daughter actually had a ball game on the day that we had our dentist appointment. So I called them up so that I could like reschedule it, and they told me that they don't have any appointments until October. So we're not gonna be going for a while. Unless they get like a cancellation, they may call us. Um, so I don't foresee us spending out of that for a little while. All right, next up is our giving envelope. And I'm gonna actually take this one out of high priority. I wanted to build it up a little bit, so I had put it in there for a while. But there's like, there was $150 in there and um, we let somebody borrow some money and they actually paid us back. But whenever I went to make change, they, I think they needed like $70 and I didn't have change. So I had to pull out of one of my other envelopes and I put this money in there. Um, so this one is a little bit short of the 150. So it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 41, 42, 43, and 44. So 144 in there now. Um, so I'm gonna move this out and I do still wanna stuff it, but it's not like a super high priority because I feel like we have a good bit in there. So I'm gonna move this one over to our um, game day binder. Okay, next up is going to be our car insurance. So that is still um, a pretty high priority right now. Um, let's see. And it has 100, 200, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So 227 in there. And this is going to be due pretty soon. And I think it's around 700 that we're going to have to pay. But we did get our taxes done. And we are supposed to get like a little bit of a refund. So I'll just, whatever I don't have towards this, I'll make up for with our taxes. Um, so I should be able to pay for that. So it's not like a super high priority right now. Okay, next up is our land savings. So I definitely wanna keep stuffing that one. 
And then next up is our new car. And this one has, oh, I didn't count that last one, did I? Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, counted car insurance. So this one is our land savings. I didn't count it. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so it has 100, 200, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So 340 in there. So that one is doing fairly well. Okay, so now our new car envelope. So this is the one that I had to use to make change for our giving envelope. Um, so it was a little bit short of 600. So I traded out and put that 100 in there. And um, then I just took, um, I guess it was $94 out and traded that out. So now we are up to 600 in here. So we've got 500 in the bank and then 100 here. And I didn't get to put my extra hundred in last month um, but it did work out because I'd been stuffing it you know some um, a little bit each week and I did get that up to a hundred so that was good okay next up is Christmas and um, we're definitely gonna keep saving towards that one and it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So $18 in there so far. Okay, and then next up is lawnmower. I have not been stuffing this, um, but I do wanna add it back in just for whenever I'm able to put extra money towards that. Um, then I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna apply it to the loan right now, but I do wanna save up some extra towards this. So it may not get money with like our sinking funds every week, um, but I do wanna add that in. So currently it has 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. All right, so that takes care of that. And then let's go over and I have an out to eat envelope here. I'm not going to add that one back in right now. So let me move this one out of our way here. Okay, sorry. I had to put you guys on pause for a minute. My phone was beeping that it was going dead, so I had to stop and kind of charge it a little bit. So that takes care of our sinking funds so far. So we'll switch over. This is what we were using as our like game night binder for a while. And so I definitely want to add this giving envelope back in here. Um, so let's see here. And I don't even know what I have in here. So let's pull these out and then we'll go through them one at a time. Let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our giving envelope in here because I do want to keep stuffing it. I just, um, I don't feel like we need to do it quite as aggressively as we've been doing it. All right, and then we'll go over these envelopes that we've got here and see which ones are kind of like the most important. So we've got holidays, um, outings. I do want to add that back in because summer is coming and I know we'll want to be doing a lot of stuff. So I'm going to add that in. Appliances is another one that is pretty important. Home, I'm going to add that back in. Um, but as soon as I fully fund that medical envelope and get it up to 500, I'm going to switch this one over and it'll take that place. Heating oil, we definitely need to be stuffing that. Um, vacation, we're going to keep doing that. And let's see how many we've got in there so far. So I wanna make sure I have the right number for, for when I play like roll the dice. So we've got um, number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 
Um, so this is our phone bill to get one month ahead there. So I'm gonna skip that one for now, but we may add it later. Fully funded buffer. I definitely wanna keep stuffing that one. I want to build up like our home repairs um, quite a bit. This fully funded buffer is mostly just for like medical home repairs or car repairs. And we have had a lot of home repairs this year and also a couple of car repairs. So I definitely wanna build that up for that. Okay, birthdays, um, I'm gonna skip that one for now. Let's see, remodel, um, I'm gonna skip it for now. Furniture, we really need some new furniture, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one back in. Okay, next up is kids' car, and I'm gonna go ahead and move that over to high priority so we can start putting a little extra in there. Um, that is for my older daughter. She is 16. She doesn't have her license yet, but she does have her permit. So, um, eventually she'll probably be getting a car. All right. Next up is braces. I definitely want to keep, um, saving up for that. That is for round two of braces for my younger daughter. All right. And then the next one there is gift. So let's see how many spaces we have left here. All right. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have two more spaces available here. Um, so let's see, we've got holidays, phone bill to get a month ahead, um, birthdays. So let's add birthdays in. Then we've got remodel and gifts. I'm trying to decide. Let's see here. Let's add birthdays and gifts in because those come up quite often. So we'll do that. And I think that should be good. So we've got um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Yes. So these other ones we can add in later on. So I'm going to kind of just put those to the side for now. Let's see here. All right. And then so that takes care of that. Um, okay. And so let's do our savings challenge binder. So currently I don't have a binder for my savings challenges. I just try to kind of keep them um, together. So, um, so this will work out great. So let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these envelopes for now. Okay, and then, so currently the challenges we are working on, we have our 100 envelope that I'm working on. So I'm gonna add that one in. And there's our cash that goes with it. And then I have one um, scratch off that I'm working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I got some new saving challenges um, in some happy mail. So let me pull those out. I try not to have too many saving challenges going at one time just because um, I don't always have a lot of money to put in there. So um, so I did get, let's see here. This These are the saving challenges that I just got in the mail. Um, so this is a mystery roll and save. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. So I think I'm gonna add that one in. And then this is a, um, a roll and save also. So I think I'm gonna add these two in. And then I've got several other challenges here. Um, but I think I will save these until I finish something else. So let's add these in. I'm gonna grab a couple of these um, new envelopes here. So I can add those in. I just don't want to go overboard on the saving challenges because if stuff comes up, then I have to kind of pause all these. So that's where um, I have to pause at. So let's see. Well, I thought it was going to fit in there. There we go. Okay. So we'll add that one in. And then um, the mystery roll and save, we'll add that one in also. And I also, I didn't count the cash that was in those 
envelopes as I went through. So let me go back and do that. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so that takes care of that. So we'll go ahead, we'll count what we have in here, and then um, I'll count this other binder because I forgot to do that, sorry. All right, so our 100 envelope challenge, um, some of these numbers that are checked off, these large numbers, um, they are in envelopes like these. And so what I do when I do the 100 envelope challenge is I do numbers one through 30, and then I unstuff and stuff these largest numbers. So this that's in this envelope is just for these numbers one through 30 that I have checked off. So it has um, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83. So, um, 40, 60, 80. So 283 in there. And then this scratch off, it is a $50 um, scratch off. And so far it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So 28 towards that $50 so far. All right. All right, and then we'll go back and count our money that's in our um, game day binder since I forgot to do that. So giving, we already counted that one. And then next up is outing. So going out with our kids and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So 15 in there so far. Next up is appliances. It has 20, 40, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and 77. 77 in there so far. Okay, next up is our home envelope. So that is home repairs, and it has 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 54. And I thought about pulling this money out for a recent repair, um, but we were able to kind of pause some stuff and um, we just kind of cash flowed it, so. Okay, next up is heating oil. It has 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, and 2. So 32 in there. Next up is vacation. Um, we don't really have a vacation plan, um, but so far we have we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 138 um, plus this, which is 48, 58, um, 68, 78. So 178 in there so far. Okay, and then next up is our fully funded buffer. So I just want to keep stuffing this. So like once I finish that medical envelope, I want to have like extra just in case I need it. So that's kind of what this is. And it's just hopefully eventually that one's fully funded. Home repairs is fully funded and our car repairs is fully funded. And then instead of stuffing them individually, I'll just stuff this one. So instead of stuffing three envelopes, I'll just be stuffing the one. So it's got 20, 40, 41, and 42 in there. Okay, and then Next up is a furniture. And it has 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 59 in there. We went and looked at furniture a few times and it is so much more expensive than what I remember it being like the last time I bought furniture. It is really went up. So uh, we're gonna need to save a lot in there. All right, braces has 20, 40, 41, 42, and 43. Okay, and next up is gifts. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And we've actually had a few things come up recently that we've had to buy gifts for. So I think it would be good to 
um, build this up. Okay, and then next up is birthdays. So my older daughter, her birthday is in the summer, and then the rest of us have birthdays in the winter. So this will probably be saved up for her birthday. So it has 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. So $44 in there so far. All right, so that takes care of everything, I think. Um, so yeah, I think we'll be ready to go. So we have this binder now. That's gonna be our sinking funds. This will be our game day binder. And then this one will be for savings challenges. Um, this one I use for our personal envelopes. I usually just carry this with me. Um, so it's got my husband spending money, mine, and both of my daughters spending money in there. And so yeah, I believe that is all I have for you guys today. Thanks for hanging out with me while I reorganized everything. And if you're new here and you enjoyed the content and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button and helping me to grow my channel. I will see you guys back here next time. Bye.